What's up everybody, Craig here. Hey, I just want to do a quick video on, well, since Apple just released iOS 6.1.2 uh, on how to re-jailbreak your device. Uh, basically upgrade to iOS 6.1.2, then re-jailbreak your device. Now let me put emphasis on the fact that all your Cydia apps and tweaks and everything will be back just as they were when you had your uh, device jailbroken previously. It just takes a few clicks, that's it. Everything will be back in place. So you're not going to have to put in your sources, re-download apps, none of that stuff. Everything will be back just the way you like it. So uh, without further ado, uh, you're going to need the app called PKG Backup. All right. Oh, and if you like my theme that I have on there, uh, if you like this theme, um, hold on. Let me see. Um, if you like this theme, it is... Uh, weather HD V2 so that's my theme alright so let me get this alright alright so you're gonna need PKG backup you open PKG backup it is gonna scan your packages I think I already scanned mine so scanning your packages right now seeing what you got on your phone only takes a couple minutes, if that. After that's done, okay, I'll just refocus here. After that is done, um, basically, you're going to um, just pick what you want. And if I were you, I'd highly recommend taking off all the Apple Store apps uh, and all the stock Apple stock apps. I just keep the contacts clicked because it's always good to have your contacts like triple backed up um, but uh, this stuff takes, gets taken care of when you back up in iTunes when you restore your device um, and other options it always highlights my um, voicemails so I uncheck that and then also um, I have my SHSH blobs uh, and I want to save those as well okay this is good to save even though Cydia has mine saved already all right and with that all you gotta do is click backup and it will take care of all your city stuff and as you see that little icon right there means it's hooked up to my Dropbox so that's where it's gonna save and you have other options like save it to your address book save it to this that whatever but I like Dropbox the best so after it's done it will say backup done you hit OK and now you're ready to go ahead and back up sync in iTunes and then uh... hey, a couple things before you restore um, the first one is go ahead and uh, hopefully you're on Wi-Fi connection and update all your apps um, and if you want this process to go a lot faster um, go ahead and go over here and back up to this computer not iCloud to this computer um, so uh, back up to this computer and then uh, uh, on your App Store app on your phone go ahead and update all your apps and then when you do and you have your iPhone connected go to file devices and then transfer purchases and it'll put the new apps on your computer that way it'll this process will be a whole lot faster um, also um, on your apps you want to have uh, automatically sync new apps that way your apps will sync um, uh, when uh, you restore from backup so um, just hit uh, uh, syncing back up after that restore your device now when you restore your device go ahead and uh, put it into DFU mode if you don't know how to do that you hold the power and the home button at the same time for 10 seconds when it shuts off you hold for about three more seconds and then let go of the power button while still holding the home button and then you will see in iTunes it pop up you probably just heard it okay and after that I already downloaded the software I'm just gonna restore my iPhone restore an update okay it's going to take away the jailbreak right now and then we're going to re jailbreak and re uh, the first app we're gonna down is PKG backup and then we'll do a restore with that so I'll show you how that's done okay um, and after you go ahead and back up with PKG backup 
you sync and back up your device to iTunes, you put it in DFU mode, um, go ahead and go to this evasion.com and as you can see the O in evasion is a zero. Uh, download um, whichever one applies to you right here. Mine is Mac. And then uh, when you open it up, it'll open up in this window and you just drag this icon into your application folder. Okay, we'll save that for later. All right. Okay, after it's done restoring, um, obviously just like any other update, uh, you would restore from the backup of the last backup I did on my iPhone, which was at 9.03 p.m. today, which was about seven minutes ago. And that is fairly accurate. So I just hit continue and then let it do its thing. And we'll come back to it once it's done doing that uh, to re jailbreak it. All right, so like I said, once you uh, restore your iPhone and there you got everything back to where you want it, I actually ended up uh, just kind of revamping, moving my apps around, making some new folders and stuff. So I uh, did something a little different. But um, anyway, once you get everything back to where you want it, you just go ahead and uh, open up that evasion program you downloaded. Open. And it will sense you get 6.1.2, and then you click jailbreak. It's going to go through three stages. The first two, uh, the first one's going to reboot it. The second one is going to bring it to a point where it says unlock your device and click the jailbreak icon. All right, it's going to bring it to this point right here where it says to continue, unlock it, and click the jailbreak icon it just installed. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to unlock it. Scroll all the way over. It should be all the way to the right and click it and then it's just going to kind of just launch and then it's going to go into the third step and it's almost done and that's how to jailbreak iOS 6.1.2 now stand by for the city of restore Alright, so this is really cool. I just downloaded PKG Backup as my first download because it's going to take care of the rest. And um, before you actually had to relink it to your Dropbox and get all your settings back, but it remembered all my settings. So that was pretty cool. And basically, all I did was open it up. Now all I got to do is click View Restore and Restore. Yep. And that's it. That's all you got to do. All your city of stuff will be back the way it was. And I'm just going to let it sit for a while. Alright, so I had to do some damage control, but uh, as you can see, uh, my stuff is back the way it was. And uh, just a few clicks. But um, what ha happened was um, I had a tweak downloaded called Chip. And uh, <clears throat> basically, it was causing my device to stay in safe mode. Um, so if you have the app Chip or Tweak it, Chip, which you can personalize your notifications with, I guess it is not compatible with iOS 6.1.2. So um, go ahead and disable that or, or remove that before you do your PKG backup uh, in the beginning because that will cause you some grief. Uh, and it was just that one tweak. Everything else seems to be good to go. So that's all I got. Thanks for watching and um, uh, like, subscribe, do what you got to do. If you can answer somebody's comment, please do. Thanks for your interest and you guys take it easy.